Picture this, a dimly lit room, the hush of anticipation in the air, and the soft murmur of an audience settling into their seats. The year is 1936, and a new sensation is about to sweep the world of cinema, swing time. As the flickering film reel starts to spin, the silver screen comes to life with the electrifying energy of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. It's your first encounter with this iconic movie, and you're transported to a world of dazzling dance numbers and unforgettable music. Perhaps it was the moment when Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers glided across the dance floor, their chemistry palpable even through the black and white frames. Or maybe it was the catchy tunes, like The Way You Look Tonight, that still echo in your memory. Swing Time was a masterpiece that left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who first witnessed its magic. Now, as we journey back in time, let's uncover some fascinating facts about this timeless classic that you might not know. From behind-the-scenes stories to the film's impact on the world of dance, Swing Time has more to offer than meets the eye. So, let's dive into the enchanting world of Swing Time, where dance and romance intertwine, and where the echoes of a bygone era still resonate today. In the 1936 movie Swing Time, there's an interesting behind-the-scenes tidbit involving Ginger Rogers and a scene where she's seen washing her hair. The crew faced challenges in making it look just right. They tried various soaps, shampoos, and even egg white, but these solutions didn't work well. Ultimately, they found success with whipped cream, which didn't run down her face too quickly, creating the desired effect. As for the film's original content, there was a musical number called It's Not in the Cards that was initially part of the movie. However, it was cut due to concerns about the film's length and the perceived quality of the number. Only a small portion of it remains in the final version, and the music is used in the background during the early scenes. Additionally, Ginger Rogers, who played a prominent role in Swing Time, reportedly performed the song Never Gonna Dance so many times that her shoes were filled with blood. This dedication to her craft highlights the rigorous demands of her role in the film. These intriguing details offer a glimpse into the meticulous work that went into creating the classic 1936 movie Swing Time, showcasing the dedication of the cast and crew to deliver a memorable cinematic experience. In the 1936 movie Swing Time, directed by George Stevens, Lander Stevens, George Stevens' father, played the role of Judge Watson. This family connection added a personal touch to the film's production. Additionally, in 2007, the American Film Institute recognized the significance of Swing Time by ranking it as the 90 greatest American movie of all time in their 10th anniversary list. Notably, the film had not been included in the original list, highlighting its enduring impact on American cinema. Swing Time marked the sixth collaboration between the legendary dancing duo of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Their on-screen chemistry and mesmerizing dance sequences continue to captivate audiences, making this film a memorable part of their partnership. In conclusion, Swing Time holds a special place in cinematic history, with its director's family involvement and its recognition as one of the greatest American movies of all time. It also stands as a testament to the enduring charm and talent of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, the iconic dance duo of the era. In the 1936 movie Swing Time, Fred Astaire insisted on filming his dance routines in one continuous camera shot, showing the dancers from head to foot. However, in the Never Gonna Dance number, there's a noticeable moment when Astaire and Ginger Rogers reach the tops of their winding staircases, and the camera shot quickly changes. This change reflects the need to bring the filming camera upstairs for a close-up finale of the dance number, breaking Astaire's usual one-shot rule. This film was special for Ginger Rogers as it was her favorite among her collaborations with Fred Astaire. Their on-screen chemistry and dance sequences in Swing Time are often celebrated as some of the best in Hollywood history. Director George Stevens was known for his perfectionism, leading to multiple takes, even for non-dancing scenes. This commitment to detail contributed to the film's overall quality and enduring appeal. Swing Time is a classic that continues to captivate audiences with its memorable music, outstanding choreography, and the undeniable charm of Astaire and Rogers on the dance floor. In the 1936 movie Swing Time, one standout moment was the climax of the song and dance number Never Gonna Dance. This scene required 47 takes in a single day, 
pushing Ginger Rogers to her limits. She had to endure demanding spins, which ultimately caused her feet to bleed. This dedication to perfection in their performance showcases the immense effort and talent that went into creating this iconic film moment. Another interesting aspect of the movie is the Bajangles of Harlem number. While the title pays tribute to Bill Bajangles Robinson, the actual dance is a tribute to Fred Astaire's mentor, John Bubbles. Astaire was dressed and made up to look like Bubbles' as sport in life in Porgy and Bess, and his dancing style in this number followed the rhythmic tap style of Bubbles rather than the more restrained style of Robinson. This homage would have been recognized by the audience in the 1930s who were familiar with Bubbles and his portrayal of sport in life. During rehearsals for the Bajangles of Harlem sequence, a unique idea for special effects shots emerged. Hermes Pan noticed that three light sources were creating a group of Fred Astaire shadows dancing perfectly in sync. This discovery led to the use of special effects in the dance. Astaire was filmed in silhouette and then tripled. The actual dance was shot against a process screen and combined with the shadow footage by RKO's effects chief, Vernon Walker. Although not perfect, as there was some bleeding of the image, this technique added a visually striking element to the film. These behind-the-scenes details highlight the meticulous work that went into making Swing Time a classic of its time, showcasing the dedication and innovation of the filmmakers and performers involved. In the 1936 movie Swing Time, the iconic musical number Bajangles of Harlem is a standout moment. But did you know that the inspiration for this famous routine actually came from the RKO musical Hore for Love in 1935? Bajangles of Harlem is a tribute to the legendary dancer Bill Bajangles Robinson, who was known for his incredible tap dancing skills. Originally, the concept for Bajangles of Harlem was much more elaborate than what ended up on film. It was initially conceived as a scenario called Hot Fields, which was meant to be a loose parody of the all-black movie The Green Pastures from the same year. This elaborate concept would have involved the Bajangles character traveling through stylized sets representing heaven, hell, and jungle locations, with many routines on stairs. However, due to the expense and complexity involved, only a small part of this concept made it into the final film, where Bajangles is introduced with an outsized bowler hat that transforms into enormously long legs. The shadow dance idea for Bajangles of Harlem was a brilliant addition that occurred during rehearsals. Choreographer Hermes Pan and Fred Astaire noticed that when three different light sources illuminated Astaire, they produced three distinct shadows, adding a unique visual element to the performance. Swing time remains a classic in the world of musical cinema, and Bajangles of Harlem continues to be celebrated as one of its most memorable moments, paying homage to the remarkable talent of Bill Bajangles Robinson. So next time you watch Swing Time, keep in mind these fascinating details about the inspiration and development of Bajangles of Harlem. As we wrap up this cinematic journey through the timeless classic, Swing Time, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this 1936 gem has had on your own life. While the reels may have stopped spinning, the magic of this film lingers on in our memories, much like the unforgettable melodies that filled its soundtrack. Swing Time isn't just a movie, it's a dance through the annals of our emotions, a reminder of the power of art to transport us to another era, another world. Perhaps it awakened your love for the golden age of Hollywood, or maybe it inspired you to take up dancing, trying to recreate the elegance and grace of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Maybe it's the heartfelt story that still resonates with you, reminding you of the timeless theme of love conquering all odds. Now, it's your turn to share. What are your favorite memories or thoughts about Swing Time? Did it leave you tapping your feet, humming its tunes, or pondering its romantic twists? Whether it's a cherished moment or a personal connection, your reflections enrich the tapestry of this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Swing Time and for sharing your thoughts. Your passion for classic cinema makes this experience all the more enjoyable. Keep the conversation alive and let your voice be heard. Together, we celebrate the enduring legacy of this remarkable film. So, share away, dear reader, viewer, and let your thoughts flow freely. Your unique perspective is a treasure, and your words will resonate with others who hold swing time close to their hearts. Until next time, keep the love for cinema alive, and remember that every frame tells a story. This outro was crafted just for you.